So now child care costs more than college. You heard that right. A new report finds almost half of parents spend more than $18,000 a year on child care. 20% spent more than $36,000. Compare that to the average cost of attending a state college at $24,000 a year. Mike Rowe works for Foundation CEO, and Mike Rowe's with us in New York. Nice to see you again. Nice to Got be in the newsroom. Numbers. Yeah, okay. Hit me. Love numbers. 35% um, of parents tap into their savings account mm -hmm. to cover child care. 68% had only six months worth of savings before they run out for good. You can't, you can't go very far on that, Mike. Look, I mean, I've been hearing a lot lately about why aren't people having kids? What the heck's going on? And I'm probably the wrong one to ask that since I don't have any. But, man, I get it. You start looking at the numbers. Like, what, what actually happened? I, permission to sound like an old guy mm. for a minute? Mm. You have kids 40 years ago. You send them to a public school. Which one? The closest one. Yeah. Right? What's it the cost? One in your district. It, it doesn't cost anything. Right. You know? Um, you need a babysitter? There's a girl down the street. She's great. Five bucks an hour, maybe. Um, college? Great community college up the street. Cost hadn't gone bananas yet. It just, it, it feels like on every single front, people have sat down to say, I dare you. I dare you to raise a family. The guy was, we were talking in the break about a buddy of mine in Greenwich yesterday. Now, Greenwich is not the USA, but forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year in elementary school. It's so bananas that I don't even... Elementary. Know. Tell elementary. you about fourth fifth grade. grade. Okay, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Huh. So I, I, don't, I don't personally know how to think about that, but I do believe it's going to go splat. I do believe it's going to tip, and I think you can see it with the credentialing in higher ed in real time right now. Well, one of the things that the decline, in, call for three, is the decline in trust in a college degree by the numbers. It's 50% of parents now say they will not send their children to a four-year college. And two out of three high school students think they'll be fine without a college degree. And look at this, call for five. Here are some of the companies that are reducing or eliminating college degree requirements for jobs. And you recognize there's a lot of companies there that people might want to work for. That's big. It's really big. There's some great research. A guy named Todd Rose over at a think tank called Populous wrote a book called a Collective Illusions. And he ranks the 50 things that people truly value and the 50 things that people think other people truly value. And the people who truly, truly value a four-year degree, it ranks like number 47 which is shocking because when you look at the other list of what people think other people value, it's number three. So I believe that we're seeing a giant reckoning through the lens of PR where parents are going to look at the cost of a four-year degree. They're going to look at places like Harvard. I'm, I don't mean to pile on Harvard. Oh, go ahead. Okay, average, <laughs> average GPA today at Harvard, 3.8. That was summa cum laude when we were in school. Mm -hmm. Back in 1955, that number was 2.55. The inflation is not limited to our economy. There's a, there's a credential inflation. There's a grade inflation. There's a legacy problem over there. There's $51 billion in an endowment fund. We all just had a front row seat to the Harvard Corporation working real hard to protect their president in the, in the face of 50 plagiarism charges. So you can't blame a parent for looking at all that and going, yeah, maybe not that. At $51 billion, you can pay for tuition to the end of time, right? It's a lot of... Forever. It's a, it's a lot of cabbage, man. It's a lot. Meanwhile, shameless plug, my foundation, on average, awards work ethic scholarships to the tune of eight or nine grand. We're training welders and steam fitters and pipe fitters and electricians and heating and air conditioning. And I, every day I talk to people who come through that path, they're making six figures, they have no debt, and I know I'm a broken record on this, but as higher ed continues to get a little wobbly up there, these other paths are going to look shiny. And you have an opportunity for people to apply for these scholarships? End of this month, we open another scholarship program again. We've, we give away a couple million bucks a year. We'll do a million at the end of uh, February. Apply at microworks.org. Learn a skill, master a trade. Well, well, you. well done. Good Thanks, to have you. Good Always to see good you. to see you. Great to see you guys. Come back again. Thank okay, you, Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> right. Okay, good. Okay. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.